Hey everybody, it's old folks here. So I had a question asked to me, and I'm going to read it here. It says basically, um, you know, if if I had to choose an order of importance um, out of the different things in the game, you know, what would I place first? Would I place Crystal Dungeon, Sky City, the Arena, Dragon Prayer, Beast Soul Buff, or Talent Shop? I'm going to take a drink. Give me a second. I did that because it's going to be a long conversation. It's going to be a lot of discussion here as we look at each aspect of the game and really ask ourselves which one's the best, which one's the most important. And, and we really realize that in some ways it's hard to say this is the number one because they all play off of each other. So that said, let's just kind of dive into it. First of all, when you start a new account, you know, the first thing you're really going to unlock is a crystal dungeon. And the advantage of the crystal dungeon, obviously, is the items which you get that are going to um, help you raise your hero. You know, I go to the dungeon shop, you know, I've got all these coins still. I could buy all these orange items for my heroes. And so when we look at those and what I can do in the forge, it, it's kind of important. Now, early on, uh, you know, there's no skill associated with it, so it's not necessarily a huge thing, but it is adding power. It is adding hit points, um, which is always nice. Ability power, critical strike, so it does have its advantage. You know, that said, with the advantages that they bring, um, you know, I want to really maximize what I'm getting out of it. You know, I tell people don't really increase these uh, past five until way later when you've got extra um, essence. But, you know, once we start hitting the blue section and you start getting some of these skills, they actually do have some great advantages early on, especially. Um, you're going to see the need for them arise as you're playing the game, as you're getting into the arena, because of the different skills. You know, I've been running the same thing on Vortex since he got to blue one, which is the, you know, mushroom, because it does give me lifesteal uh, back off of his magic. Um, you know, so Crystal Dungeon is important, you know, and the question is, do I build heroes for Crystal Dungeon or, you know, do I not? You know, or what about arena? Well, the arena is a great thing, but unless you're holding a top spot in the arena, you know, at a point, the crystal, the uh, gems that you get are the same, no matter what. And the truth is, is your arena team is often your war team. You know, that's the team you're going to fight with all the time. That's the team you're going to use against everybody else. Uh, a lot of times, those number one people, you know, they're running that same team here. That's the big one they send out. That's the one you crash against. You know, and you have to decide, you know, can I beat them? Can I not beat them? Um, and you just kind of go from there. So it's... Uh, it's important too, you know, but at the same time, you know, if you're limited in your resources, you know, the arena is going to be your main team, which you have to have. You're going to use that main team to some degree in Crystal Dungeon, obviously, with some variation, uh, but, you know, it's still going to be pretty important. Um, but, you know, then we start looking at other things like um, the Dragon Prayer Shop, the Beastle um, Buff, and the Talent Shop. Now, I want to talk about those, acknowledging that arena is important overall. The gems you get from it, again, unless you're in the top five, you know, top 10, top 50, uh, you know, it's it's not going to be like Major Breaker. You know, you're just going to get what you're going to get. Hero Brawl, you know, Hero Brawl, you know, you're just waiting on the weekly rewards. You're trying to get as high as you can. But again, you don't want to sacrifice your main team to try and build three teams, especially if you're not a, a huge VIP guy. So that brings us back here now then to talk about Sky City. Um the beast soul and your talent now let's let's talk um, real quick here uh you're going to unlock obviously your beast soul uh i believe before any of the other twos and, and the beast soul is is pretty awesome because some of the items are really great you know you get a tank early on you get him a full behemoth set and i mean man that does so much for your tank because he's every three attacks he's getting that little shield which is mitigating damage which is keeping him alive i mean that's that's huge and that's what you want so I think Beast Soul is important. It's just hard to get stuff for it. You know, they've made it a little bit better, but it's still really difficult. I mean, it's not an easy uh, task at all to, to get those uh, components. Now, uh, they're making the orange soon. We, you know, we don't truly know on the majority of servers how it's going to come apart other than sacrificing purple ones to get components to turn it into an orange, but I'm, I'm not going to dig too deep into that. But I mean, it's important. It's great. You know, you want to have B-Souls. You want to have 
those skills and the advantages that they bring with it. Um, you know, obviously your mages and your supports, putting the right one on the right person, you know, it all, it all has a great place. It's just determining who to build up first. Now, again, if you've only got one team for the most part, it's a lot easier to pick and choose on them, but it's very costly and time consuming. It, it takes placing well in the, um, the ladder every, you know, other week that they do. So, you know, to say it's, you know, in the top three, you know, yeah, it, it probably is the top three. Um, but you know, it's a long, long road to get where you need to be. You know, the forge is important because you've got to get those items. You've got to get those skills, um, and everything else. Now let's talk dragon prayer for a second. Dragon prayer is probably the most, I'm going to say expensive part of the game. And I hate to say it, but it's probably one of the most important parts of the game as a whole. The dragon prayer takes you about 40,000 gems to get a four dot hero. That's if you've unlocked everything at level 20. Obviously, if you're not there yet and you're lower in the prayer altar, you know, you can only go up as fast as you can. You're going to expect to burn more uh, going through it. But, you know, once you've hit a level 20 priest, you know, that's about what you're going to spend is about 40,000 gems to go from ground zero all the way up to a four dot hero. Um, so it's very expensive. It's very costly. But at the same time, when you start to look at what is added by these things, you know, here I've got Charm pulled up. You know, he's picking up 16,000, almost 17,000 health tier. He's picking up 1,100 damage. He's picking up 230 magic resist. He's picking up 140 armor pin. And then you look at the fact that he's adding another 8,000 health, more armor, more magic resist, and lifesteal. I mean, it's huge. I mean, those stats are phenomenal. I mean... You know, that's a hard, a hard thing on your hero. You know, if I had a maxed out itemed hero, and if I had a maxed out uh, beast soul guy, and I had a maxed out rune core guy, and I had a maxed out talent guy, but I didn't have a maxed out prayer guy, I'm going to be hurting. I mean, on this guy alone, I'd be missing out on 24,000 hit points, which is a ton of hit points. Uh, you know, if I go compare right now, uh, looking at him, let's go here. Hero tank. Do, 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 do. Attributes. I mean, that's that's uh, that's some beefy chunk right there. I mean, you're suddenly, I mean, ninety thousand. I mean, that's a that's a lot of a lot of hit points less. That's a it's a lot quicker being dead as a tank. So, um, and the magic resist and the armor. You know, I didn't even think about looking at that. You know, suddenly I'm I'm dropping myself here. Um, all that extra armor and all that ma extra magic risk, so I'm taking more damage. I mean, it's huge. So I think in the grand scheme of, of, of the game, in my opinion, that's probably going to be your number one item that you're going to have to focus on. Now, the advantage is the prayer event. You know, every day, using your free prayer, every day that you can, spend a few uh, gold one, um, prayers just to hope for another free prayer or to build somebody up that's low level. Obviously, don't go into debt for it. Um, but, you know... I think that's one of the easy ways. I had a buddy who gold star two of or gold star. I'm doing good. Four dotted two of his uh, heroes just for the prayer events and the free prayers. Now it took him a while, but that's what he did. And so um, it can be done. It just takes a while. But I'd say dragon prayer is probably the the number one uh, place on the game. Now the talents, the talents are pretty awesome. Now if we just talk, you know, about hey, uh, I'm getting some cool little stats here. The stats are nice, but really for the most part, what you're looking for. Are the captain skills so i'm gonna pick on chavez here for a minute i got my stone skin aura you know level seven here basically um you know i'm picking up a thousand points off of every hit you know which which adds up you know i get hit 10 times there's ten thousand damage i didn't take uh and that's just right off the top i mean that's awesome it's not mitigated by armor piercing or magic piercing or any of that it's just a thousand damage boom gone so, you know, it's really beneficial uh, to help you stay alive longer at later levels. Uh, you know, these skills, they do a pretty good job. I mean, who doesn't like some extra hit points? Who doesn't like the extra magic resist? Um, but I don't know if I would say those are necessarily as important as this early on. You know, in fact, a lot of guys will push the captain skills before they push uh, the other items on their, uh, in, the, in the talent tree because they want the captain skills because of what they bring to the team. And, and that's pretty important is, you know, looking at... Um, who you're going to use as your tank uh, or in your supports or any of those and say, okay, who's got the best 
you know, talent that I need to, to really help my team. Now, um, I probably would say between talents and beast souls, I'm probably going to still go with talents over beast souls. So it's probably going to go dragon prayer, talent, beast souls, in my opinion. Uh, beast souls are good, but they're still so hard to come by. They've made talenting so much easier because now you've got the little shop here. Every wish you do when you, you know, get your normal ones, gives you some more of these. And, and you can, you know, really start to buy some of these here. Might take you a day or two, but still, I mean, that, that's huge. You know, save them up, get the ones you need. That's pretty awesome. So that makes it more uh, likely for the average guy to get them, uh, which is a, a huge thing in the game. Uh, but then that brings us really to this rune core thing. And I'm going to talk about rune cores. It's going to be a little bit long, but I'm going to be honest about it. The sad truth is in Sky City here that if you want to get um, any of these purple ones here, you you know you're, you you have to be in the top top 10 kind of thing you know you're, you're just not going to get it otherwise um otherwise you're spending gems inside the shops at a terrible rate to purchase the items in the in the store here uh for what they have and so it's it's very expensive very expensive to get uh stuff here you know if you don't have the right teams if you don't have the right compositions you know at that point i'm building teams just for those um depending on who my heroes are you know if you're running a magic based team Suddenly you're like, well, crud, now I need a team based on this in order to do enough damage. And right now, the only team that's basically winning everything every time is the Lucifer team set. You know, that's that's the number one team set going into all these things. If you don't have a Lucifer, you're not going to be there. Um, and that's kind of bad because if you can't place in those top positions, you're not going to get anything. So that means you've got to come out here to the stores and um, find these and suddenly I'm spending 2,000 gems for 200. I mean, it's just so expensive. Um, but now, you know, when we talk about rune cores, I'm gonna pick on my Vortex here, who's 100%. Uh, obviously, they're all plus 10. You know, I say, okay, now what? So how good is this? Well, you know, all these guys, I'm, I'm at a 90 ability power. And because all five of them are blue, I get an extra 90, 90 some 180 there. You know, I picked up 3,000 health. I picked up 3,000 more health. Uh, I picked up 80 magic, more magic resist. I picked up more ability power, big chunk of ability power, and then 6,000, and then 6,000 more. So, I mean, it's 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 awesome. I mean, you know, you can really um, start to add that extra power, that extra health, um, those resists, those other things that you need. But it's going to be difficult to get there if you can't place in the top um, part here, you know, rune core power, 8,000 plus 2,000, you know, I'm gaining 10,000 extra power for my rune core, which is pretty awesome. You see, you know, what I'm gaining from here. Um, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty beefy. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's important, but if you can't get there and get into the top part, you know, realize you're going to be stuck at the plus sixes. Um, and there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, it sucks. Um, there's no way to trade up. You know, I, I think it'd be cool if you could um, go to the shop, Sky Store, and if they had in the store perhaps the ability to trade, you know, um, ten, uh, a thousand of these or maybe um, fifteen hundred of these for a hundred. I don't know what the right ratio would be. But, you know, if I could trade in some of these for some of these, you know, I think that would be a fair um, thing for the guys that can't place in the top because otherwise you're just shutting them out to never get that. You know, I know guys that are sitting on like, you know, 9,000 of this and they can't do any, you know, I mean, they've got element dust and elemental fragments up to yin yang, but they can't get any of the purple. So they're, they're hosed. So you can live without it. It's a lot better if you have it. But I wouldn't say it's the most important. You know, obviously, again, that brings us back to, well, what is then? Well, it's got to be the Dragon Prayer. You know, the arena is important. You got to do it. You got to build a team for it. But in the end, if you're not praying, you're not going to be high. And the diamonds you're getting from the Dragon, uh, from the arena, are basically just helping you to pay for stamina or something else. Because odds are you're spending whatever you're getting from the arena. Um, Crystal Dungeon is important because you need the items uh, to get done for your heroes to advance. But again, if you're not praying, you're not going to have heroes that are um, of appropriate level for the items you need which means you're either way behind getting them or you know elsewhere which kind of brings you into the the b soul and the talent 
talents are really easy to come by in some ways, but again, if you're not prayed up, you're not going to pass the talent tree. Uh, somebody's attacking me. Yay! I'm under attacked by Top Lord. Cool. Hey, man. Shout out to Top Lord for attacking me. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. And so, you know, B-Souls, again, you know, it's still such a pain to get these for the average person. Um, you know, I'm not the average guy just because I've spent too many gems on too many things. But, um, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, you're just gonna, gonna have to deal with it. So, uh, again, Dragon Prayer Talent, Beast Soul. Rune Cores, if you can get there, great. But if not, don't sweat it. Take it as you can. Uh, obviously, the Forge, you know, don't blow a ton of uh, essence on stuff. Like today, the events is the... Um, get more I spent and I got my 50,000 if you look at my rank I spent 64,000 I didn't go like big or anything because I don't really care you know it's like oh hey I don't get a ship I got so many ships it's not even funny um, somebody else attack me again top lords attack me again decided to return after the first one I don't really know um, okay whatever hey man we'll just uh if you don't know about the presets by the way it's a pretty awesome little f feature here well i'll make a video on that mm, i confirm so anyways if he comes he comes so that's that's really kind of the best thing to do um you know focus um on your arena team because you have to for everything else worry about the crystal dungeon but again you know don't break yourself trying to get there but really start to realize the majority of your your gems are gonna go here it's just what's going to happen. Um, from there, again, talents, B souls, room cores. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Um, let me know if you really think it's worth investing in some of those versus the others. I don't really buy a lot of Shadow Essence. I just take it as I can get it. Uh, I've never really spent gems on it a lot unless I just needed some more points for the to-do list. Um, but, you know, let me know, guys. I hope this helps you. I hope you all have a great one. Talk to you all later.